Radio. Welcome to another exciting episode of Coffee and Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob, and today we are talking about Double Shot at Love, Season 3, Episode 8, Tea Time with Snooky and Jay Wow. The bio here reads Chaos follows when Snooky and Jay Wow get the ladies to spill the tea. Vinny makes a love connection with someone unexpected. An argument between the women leads to a very awkward dinner. Crazy little episode here, man. Not one of the best ones, but uh, they did have a lot of action. These girls are pissed off at each other. But uh, the episode starts off pretty quickly with uh, Jay Wow and Snooki showing up. They're ready to get the tea, and they're fucking in their garb. You know what I mean? The nice English pretty lady hat. They're looking like they're ready for the um, the royal wedding, like those ladies that were dressed up over there. Um, so they're all there for the tea, and they as they talk with the girls, a couple of things that I notice here is that KP wants to kiss Vinny, the girls want to play matchmaker, and they want to hook that up for her. I know that Jillian says that AK is here for the clout. She better watch out. Uh, let's see. And, uh, you know, obviously there's this huge divide. That's what the episode is about. There's really this divide in the house, right, where four, there's five girls, and I think four of them, like, you know, there's just clashing. You know, these girls do not get along at all like that. Uh, and, and, you know, and that's the, the sides here. Uh, we also get the AK. So Jillian says that AK is here for the clout. AK wants to send Claudelia and Giovanna home. Uh, Peyton is, <laughs> they bring up that Peyton has RBF, which is resting bitch face. I'm sure she's a nice, sweet lady, but she looks like a total fucking bitch. Uh, Danielle, they said they like her. She is, you know, she's cool. They get her vibe. Uh, and in the end, they decide that KP is going to get dinner and they're going to try and hook him, hook her up with Vinny. Uh, the girls are getting ready, they're chilling, they're waiting for to get some dinner getting going, and Jay Wow, Snooky, and Nikki show up, and they're, they show up with pizzas, and they're gonna have a sleepover. Uh, so they're, they're asking girls questions, and these girls are real quick to fucking put their business live on national television for their mom and dad to hear that Claudelia had a threesome with two twins, so she fucked the same guy twice as far as I'm concerned. Technically, that wasn't a train, that was a transfer. That's what that is. If it's the same guy, that's a transfer. That don't count as a train. That is a transfer. That's like a bus pass. When you tell the conductor guy, you tell the guy that you want to switch over, he slides it through, and you put it through, and you get another one. That's kind of what she did, just with penis. That's what happened right there. So if you, in case you're wondering, Peyton let everybody know that she sucked a dick in the movie theater. <laughs> Her shit was so crazy. Hold on, blood. Hold on, blood. Her shit was so wild. They had to bleep it. She's like, well, I never beep, beep, beep it up. But one time I beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Fucking, she was saying in the theaters, like, nobody had asked a question. She was just real quick to let everybody know that she had sucked a dick in the movie theater. I would have, my follow-up question, what movie was it and was it any good? <clears throat> uh, next, we find out, again, so they're just trying to get all the tea from these girls. Uh, they ask Danielle who she doesn't like, and she says she doesn't like Claude. She calls her, she doesn't like Claude, and she calls her fake, you know, and she just lets it know, and fucking, uh, Claudelia says, okay, well then I don't like fucking all the boom, 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 hits all the girls who she doesn't like, because all the girls said that they don't like her, and dude, they're just being honest, and it is what it is, but Claude is definitely getting ganged up on here. And then after that, after all these girls talk shit to each other, Snooki and JR are like, let's fucking dance. So then they make all these bitches get up and fucking dance. Uh, on, on the date, which really has nothing going on, but Vinny kisses KP, um, and so, right, so the, the girls come back from the date, or KP comes back from the date, and they're all excited, and they're kind of telling the story of what happened with the girls, well, fucking one camp of the girls, you know, the, I don't know, I don't know how it, how it's supposed to be framed, but I call them the bad girls club type shit, you know what I mean, it's Danielle, it's AK, it's all that little crew that they got going on, they hear the other girls laughing, and they're real quick to put on their fucking dukes, and they're ready to get a pop in. So they get over to the other girls and they're hollering at them and all this shit. And, um, you know, Danielle is just fucking, you know, is ready. So AK says, don't poke the bear. So her and the fucking the crew go over there. And uh, Danielle comes in and she's like, don't be fucking talking shit about us, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, Claudelia says that you're coming in hot. And she's like, I don't give a fuck. And, you know, she's almost getting her. She pushed security to try and get at her. It's a crazy fucking tense little scene. Uh, Danielle wants all the smoke. She said free smoke for anybody who wanted. She chin checking whoever come through the door. I thought Claudelia was gonna get it popping, but uh, you know she didn't back down. But at the same time, she didn't swing. If a bitch came at her, I don't think so. Um, tells her to get out, and that's that's all. Uh, so they get the phone call. Dinners for everybody that night, and you know he's like, "There's an elephant in the room. Let's what? What's up? What's up?" Nobody says nothing. Fucking cricket. These bitches don't want to say nothing about nothing. He's like, "Well, you know what? Then I know what I got to do, ladies." Everybody, time to pack your, you know, because everybody packed their shit for for the night. He's like, all right, well then dinner's over, it's over. Um, you know, Claudelia, can you kick back for fucking dessert? 
And the girl's like, damn, this bitch fucking want another dinner date, you know, on some dessert, some single time. And so, you know, creme brulee, fucking, you know, those nice tiramisu things come out. Half of the shit's on fire, looking all nice. The fanciest dinner that I know I'll never eat. He's serving these bitches up. He's cutting it up. And he's like, yeah, so uh, that's why I mean you can never work. <laughs> he tells her game over. As he's cutting up a nice fucking dessert, he's letting her know. Uh, it's just a friend vibe. I think we get along too much. Uh, where you know that's it's hard for us to make the connection. I didn't want. And he pretty much says, "I didn't want to leave. I didn't want you to leave then, but I want you to leave now." <laughs> and she's like, "Can I go?" And he's like, "Yep." He hugs her. She's mad, and that's it. And that's the end of the episode, man. I can't believe the girls thought that she was gonna stay. Once I saw that they thought they were gonna get one on one time, like this bitch is gone. It's game over for her. She's gonna be out of this house. Um, but I think that those girls are getting down lower and lower. I think she was in the group of the four girls. And now they're just three. It's the new girls. Uh, and I think maybe Erica D or something like that. I don't remember one of them. Erica something or other. But, uh, you know, there's the other girls that are kind of just not with it. I, I forget the, the divide in the house, but I know that, you know, one side has Danielle and AK. And then, the, you know, the other girls that, and the new girls on the other side. But, and Peachy. And, um, but yeah, man, I, I, I don't know. Maybe there's smaller numbers. The numbers are dwindling down. Uh, something's got to pick up, though. You know, these girls are just boiling them in the heat. So maybe we'll see. But apparently next uh, next week we got some Erica drama with uh, Vinny messes not the name. So we'll take it from there. But let me know what you guys think, man. What did you think of this episode? Did you like it? I thought it was okay. Um, I think they could have played up the drama a little bit more with JWoww and Snooki. They were pretty fucking drunk and hammered for throughout this episode. Good for them. JWoww looks like she is mixed with some sort of cat. I think Snooki looked great, though. But, um... Let me know what you guys think, man. Who do you want to who do you want to stay in the house? Who do you want to see leave? We'll talk about it in the comments. Who do you think is going to win it all? I think the finest girl in there is Peyton. Her RBF wrestling bitch face turns me the fuck on. But let me know what you guys think. We'll talk about it in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe. And if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media at Coffin Radio. Coffin spelled a K. And that's all for today. K-S-M-R. Coffin Radio.